and uh, learned Maxwell equation in phasor form, time harmonics form, and sensor form. We know that uh, if we have any field, any field, let us say we have the electric field, and we know that it is a function of time and position. So we can separate the this uh, time variation and the space variation. So and EP is this uh, total variation. So I am writing here. So we can uh, this uh, split this variation, time variation, uh, and the space variation. So it can be written as E x y z e raised power j omega t this time variation is uh, can be written as like this okay so why this real part because this can be written as the cp can be written as the e x y z cos omega t and we know that by using this euler's formula this cos omega t because we know that this a raised power j omega t is equal to cos omega t plus j sin omega t so cos omega t is equal to real part of it, e raised power j omega t because this is the real part Okay, so cos omega t can be written as a real of so that's why we have used this term okay so this is the sinusoidal variation which uh, is converted into the phasor form this is for j omega t uh, is you can say that this is a phasor form or time harmonics form okay. so any field similarly we can write it for the uh, magnetic field so we'll write directly uh, write like this if we have the electric field Okay. electric field is uh, written as if uh, we have this total electric field this is the total electric field that is can be partitioned like that uh, let me, okay that will be equal to real of what i'm just writing simply e e raised power j omega t Okay, so this E stand for the this space variation. For simplicity, I am writing it. Similarly, uh, we can write it for uh, D. D total is equal to real part of D e raised power j omega t. Similarly, we can write for this H and B also for J because all the vectors. So, sinusoidal variation is there. We can map them into this time harmonic form or phasor form. So, let us uh, do it for uh, first Maxwell equation. Find out what will be the value in the time harmonics form. So, del cross H is equal to J plus curl D upon curl D. This was the Maxwell equation. So put the value, write the value of H, J and D in time harmonics form. So you can write real of H e raised power J omega T is equal to real of J e raised power J omega T. We have considered the sinusoidal variation of all these j, h, and d. So we have just put the value of j. So j, what will be j? j is equal to real part of j is for j omega t. What is d? Similarly, write the value for this d. Curl by curl t. Real of d e raised power j omega t. Simply, we have written this. So. Uh, you can take this curl by curl t inside of this real part okay and uh, if you take it inside that will remain same this will remain same this will remain same but you can take it 
inside and the value of this will change so in place of that by taking this inside you can write real d so differentiation of this because this differentiation of this is independent on this because this is the space variation here d x y z so d is as it is so differentiation of this here is power j omega t will be j omega and here is power j omega t this is good now so we will get this term this will as it is this will also as it is and a change in this so we can write take the whole term left left hand side so and uh, take this real common so you can write it as the real of del cross h so we have taken it as a left hand side minus j okay so put bracket here also minus j omega d i have taken this e raised power j omega t also common so this is like that okay simple now this will be equal to zero now it implies that so this will be cancel out real part and this for j omega t will be cancel out because it is equal to zero and it is in multiplication so you can write this it implies that del cross h is equal to j plus j omega d so this is the modified maxwell equation in time harmonics form central very form or phasor form now similarly we can modify the other, other equation too so let us uh, write the second equation second maxwell equation del cross e is equal to minus curl b upon curl t so again put the value of del uh, e and b so what is this e e was a real of e e raised power j omega t is equal to minus curl by curl t real of b e raised power j omega t so again uh, solving it here we have this uh, so change in this this term will be as it is so change in this this can be written as minus this term can be written as minus real of b j omega e is power j omega t take it left hand side this term take it uh, rearrange this and uh, we can write this as take the real common del cross e so that will be plus because the minus sign is there j omega b and this e raised power j omega t also common and that will be equal to zero but implies that del cross e is equal to minus j omega b so we can say that this what is the difference in this and this equation 
left hand side is same so this curl by curl t where we have this curl by curl t that is replaced by j omega in this equation and this previous equation also if you compare it with this uh, simple this is the equation before considering this time, time harmonics so del cross h del cross h is same j is there j is same so curl by curl t is replaced by j omega all is same the change is here in this term curl by curl t is replaced by j omega okay and the other two equations will be same the remaining two equation will be same del dot d is equal to rho and del dot b is equal to 0 so these are the equations in uh, this phasor form and in time harmonics form so we have studied the different uh, types of the maxwell equation in the simply differential we have started with the differential form in the differential form we have the del and uh, in this in uh, integral form we have taken the integration we have used the divergence and the stokes theorem then we have converted them into the phasor form time harmonics form or sense solid varying form okay uh, so this is all for today thanks thanks for watching